Hi, I'm Damien Wills, owner and chief pilot of GoFly Aviation, and welcome to this week's GoFly Quick Tips. This week we're going to look at what to do if your instruments fail during flight. So from time to time you may have just one instrument or all your instruments fail during flight. Why does this happen? Well, it can happen for a number of reasons. You may have an electrical failure during flight. You may have an, an instrument sensor that fails. Or it could simply be that an insect has blocked the pedo or static vents on your aircraft. But we need to know what to do in the event that it does actually happen. So today we're going to jo join uh, myself and Brent, who I'm conducting our biennial flight review on. And we're going to see just how we can deal with, it, with an instrument failure during flight. Okay, Brent, we're getting to the end of your BFR. You've done really well. Yep. So we're going to look at an instrument failure as we come into Calandra. So it took me through just so we, you know, we might have a bug or yeah, something happened to our control. instruments, our static yep. or our pedo, and we lose our airspeed and our altimeter and our vertical speed indicator. Uh, or we might have a full um, Garmin failure on our EFA screens. Yep. Uh, either one, you've got no instruments. So talk me through it. You have a complete failure. What do you think you'd, you'd do? Well, we'd keep it as normal. Yep. Still make our radio calls. Yep. Uh, basically, um, do everything as per normal. Yep. Um, and well, I don't know. Would you uh, broadcast it over the radio that you are blind? No, not not, not really. really. It's, no. it's not a biggest thing to remember with each fire yep. in, in these light aircraft. It's not a big deal. Okay. We already know that our attitude controls our airspeed, so we should be yep. able to pick our airspeed with our attitude. And we know that power controls our rate of descent, and as you yep. said before, we should be able to use our hearing to, to uh, be able to hear what that power setting is on the engine if we do lose our engine instrumentation as well. Yep. And we also know we get feedback through the controls, so if the controls start feeling too sloppy, we know we're going slower. If they start feeling tired, we know we're going yep. faster. And you can just get a general feel of the airflow over the um, over the airframe just, just through hearing it as well. Yep. So, by the approach is normal. Uh, don't make it too tight for yourself, so actually make it a little bit wider. It just so it stops you from having to do any sort of tight turns or any turn flow to the ground. And you're better off flying a, a little bit faster than a little bit slower. Yep. So, you know, if you start to feel the control, start to feel sloppy, for instance, on final approach, you know you're going a bit slow. We need to lower the nose, our attitude to increase the airspeed. If we're too low, we just use the same technique of adding power to control our descent rate yep. and climbing. So we're going to have a look at that shortly, and we'll do an approach once we're overhead uh, into Calandra, um, and I'll yep. give you an instrument failure. Sounds good. Okay, Brent, we've just had a complete instrument failure. Okay. I'm going to cover those up, as we talked about Not before. Fly really. the aircraft. Yep. So I'm crosswind, yep. maintaining 1000. Yep. Keep Avia the horizon. Yep, aviate first. I think it is, yep. Look out for aircraft. Cloud traffic sling 8668. On base, one two, touch and go, Landra. So I haven't landed the call sign yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's alright. Two, <laughs> two miles to the south of the Barbie Island Gold. Yep, good. Southern Century 2500 to 1500, track in to regular five beach. And if you feel you're getting too slow or you're just not comfortable, you just yep. go around. Yep. Ground to traffic, helicopter Lima Lima India is. Three miles inbound from the north. So in summary, remember, don't panic if your instruments fail. Aviate and check your circuit breakers and switches. If they've still failed, land as soon as possible. Fly a normal approach. Remember, attitude controls airspeed, power controls rate of descent and rate of climb. We we'll use our attitude to control our airspeed, our controls will still give us feedback on how fast we're travelling. If your controls start feeling sloppy, you could be too slow. And listen out for the power setting. You are better off flying the approach slightly faster than slower. And if you're not happy with the approach or landing, go around and do it again. And please note, if you've experienced a radio failure as well, go and take a look at our GoFly Quick Tips radio failure. Well, thanks for joining me today on GoFly Quick Tips. Happy and safe flying, and see you next week.